Have you ever been playing in the sand on a sunny day at the beach and wondered, where did all this sand come from in the first place? Let's find out on today's episode of Colossal Questions. Sand is made from a natural process called erosion, which is when something is slowly worn away by some sort of natural force, like wind, water, or just the wear and tear of animal traffic. Sand is made when rocks are slowly whittled down into tiny little pebble grains. The long, slow process starts all the way up high in the mountains. That's where alpine winds and water first get to work, breaking down massive mountains, tiny little piece by tiny little piece over thousands of years. As rocks chip off mountains or break away into rivers, they make their way slowly downstream, eroding and breaking down into even smaller pieces as the water swirls the rocks around. Eventually, all rivers lead to the ocean, and so do most of our mountain rock particles traveling downstream. As they go, waves, tides, and other stuff in the water keep breaking down those pieces until they become those tiny little rock grains we call sand. Most of us picture beige sand on a beach, but it actually comes in different colors. Tan, pink, white, and even black. The color depends on what kind of rock the sand came from. Tan sand is the most common, and it's made up of a rock called quartz that's been tinted by a chemical called iron oxide and another mineral called feldspar. Iron oxide is another form of what we call rust which is why the sand gets that orangey, reddish tan tint. Pink sand beaches are a little bit more rare, but you can still find them in beautiful spots around the world, like Bermuda, the Bahamas, Greece, the Philippines, and Indonesia. The pink color comes from tiny single-celled critters called foraminifera that have red shells that tint the sand a pinkish color. These little organisms usually live in coral reefs, which is why pink sand tends to show up in tropical places. White sand beaches are also mostly made up of quartz, but the sand hasn't been tinted by iron oxide or feldspar. Black beaches are probably the rarest type and form near volcanoes. They're formed from eroding lava and basalt rocks that come from volcanic eruptions. Places like Iceland, Hawaii, and Japan are just a few places known for their volcanic black sand beaches. So next time you're at the beach, whether it's a picture-perfect paradise or an overcrowded strip of tan sand, take a minute to appreciate just how long it took for these mighty mountains to be turned into all our beautiful beaches, and even the less beautiful ones too. 